are you so? I was this, this is one of the questions that I have I had prepared for you is how are you so entangled with all these people's stories, man? But after kicking it with you, it it kind of kind of makes sense. You feel me? You right, right, right. You fuck with niggas at the beginning. You feel me? Then right. it just it just be like that. But it, it like w- one of your top comments on all your videos is man, motherfucking uh uh. TK was was there when the motherfucker started their career. Like, right, you feel right, me? Like, right. Jay, I mean, TK gave Jay Z his his first notebook. Yeah, though. I gave Jay Z his first. But I was talking about the other day. I gave Jay Z his first fifteen hundred. Not his first fifteen hundred, but when I was thirty five, believe it or not, I was bigger than Jay Z. And Jay Z, I hired Jay Z to do my birthday party in New York City, and uh, everybody was there. Eric Von Zip, some of the coldest gangsters in the, in the, in the country, came to my party. Mm. Jay Z was late. Him and Damon Dash was late. And I told my crew, fuck them niggas, they late. Because when you late, I'm serious about time. Fuck them niggas. Like, nah, TK, he the, he the truth, T, let them go, let them go. That nigga went on that motherfucker and turned, Jay-Z turned that bitch the fuck out, right? Man. Paid him 1500 that me, him, Damon Dash stayed friends. And I toured with them on a lot of small clubs throughout the country. Then when he blew up, they took me on the hard like, life tour. And I didn't really think about my career really until like maybe the last six years is because of the Breakfast Club and how everybody was just so intrigued. I was just doing the shit back in the day. Just the shit was a check. You know, I was, <laughs> I was going to get the money. But when I sit that back, I, I, I see how people have truly appreciated my journey. Um, and it's just so many stories. Like I just, when I sit back and think, I'm just fascinated. Like, whoa, I really did it. And, I've had people come to make sure they co-sign me and say, yo, TK's telling the truth. Because I've done so much that it's people like, oh, that nigga lying. <laughs> but see, and, and even when I took care of all that, I took care of me. Yeah. See, I don't look my age. And I think that's what throws people off. they like, okay, this nigga, I'm 60 years old, right? So... um, I still keep a bad bitch breathing on me. I still drive <laughs> nice rides. I got a badass house. Um, but I don't show off, though. See, I don't show off. Um, Start that one. My career is um, fascinating, but believe it or not, Lou, I think I'm really just getting started. Think so? Yo, what I'm about to pull off? Oh, yeah. You want some shit for sure. They don't see this coming. <laughs> As well, I'm too. about to pull out, and, and, and we're not going to say what it is, but Lando was privy to some of my conversation with an attorney. If I pull this off, it's over, dog. No, This sure. makes me the Jay-Z of the comedy world. 